हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डू टू क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज टेन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सो लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इफ द टेंजेंट एट ए पॉइंट पी टू ए सर्कल विथ सेंटर ओ सो हियर आई हैव ड्रॉन ए सर्कल विथ सेंटर O and P is any point on the circumference of the circle. Okay, so now see here. So the point P here, if we draw a tangent, then it cuts a line through O at Q. That means so the point O, if we draw a line, then this tangent will cut that line. At the point Q, such that PQ equal to 24, OQ is equal to 25 centimeter. Question is find the radius of the circle. So we have to find the radius of the circle. So let us complete first the figure. So what is here? See, this is a circle with center O, and P is a point on it. So the point P, we draw a tangent. See like this, we draw a tangent to the point P. Say I draw up to here, and now this tangent cuts a line through the point O. So through the point O, we draw another line like this, and. This line and this tangent say cut at the point where Q according to question. So through the point O at Q. So through the point O when we draw a line it cuts at the point Q the tangent PQ. Here we can give the arrow mark. And we have to join this O and P to get the radius of the triangle. Uh, radius of the Circle. So this will be the radius of the circle. And now let us write see. PQ is equal to twenty four centimeter. This PQ is equal to twenty four centimeter. We can write here the length of PQ is twenty four centimeter. And OQ. This is OQ twenty five centimeter. So what is the question? Find the radius of the circle. This is our radius. OP is the radius and we know radius and tangent is perpendicular at the point of contact so here is this and this are perpendicular so this angle will be what 90 degree this angle opq will be 90 degree so solution we are doing here so i write angle opq Angle O P Q is equal ninety degree. What is the reason? Because we know tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. So what is the tangent here? P Q. And what is the radius here? O P. So we write here because O P is perpendicular to P Q. It means. Radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So, if this is 90 degree, now see if this is a triangle, and in this triangle, one angle is 90 degree. It means this triangle is a right triangle. So, we can write therefore in right triangle in right triangle OPQ OPQ. So. If OPQ is the right triangle, this is the right angle. Then from here, this is what hypotenuse. From right angle, the opposite side we call hypotenuse. Here is OQ is the hypotenuse. So we can apply here the Pythagoras theorem. So we can write here, therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem. See what will happen. This is right angle, and from here opposite, OQ is the hypotenuse. We can say square of hypotenuse 
is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. Other two sides are what? OP and PQ. So we can write here OP square plus PQ square. This we know from the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. We know from the Pythagoras theorem. So square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. So now we put the values you see. What is the value of OQ? In the figure it is 25. We write here 25 square is equal. What is the value of OP? OP we have to find. It will remain OP. Plus PQ. What is the value? 24. So square we have to give. Then therefore 25 square multiply. 25 into 25 it is 625. And this one multiply 24 square, it will be 576 and bring it to left hand side. So it will be minus 576 is equal to this OP square will remain here. Or subtract here, it will be 6 to this is 9, then this is 4. 49 is equal to OP square. Then we have to find from here OP. What will be OP? OP is equal to square root of 49. When 49 is equal to OP square, OP is equal to square root of 49. And square root of 49 is what? 7. And this OP is the radius of the circle. Question, find the radius of the circle. So we can write the answer therefore, radius of circle radius of circle is 7 centimeter. Okay, that is the answer. We have to write uh, the unit centimeter because the quotient is given in centimeter. We have to write here centimeter. That is the answer of the sum. So let us do question number 2. Here I do the solution of question number 2. See, O is the center of a circle. This is O is the center of the circle of radius 8 cm. The radius of this circle is 8 cm. The tangent at a point A on the circle. So, suppose we take here a point A on the circle. Uh, cuts a line through O. Through the point O, suppose we take here a line and then we draw a tangent from here. This tangent cuts the line where at the point B such that AB equal 15 and find OB. So let us complete the figure. See, through the point A, let us draw this tangent. Say, this is the tangent through the point, through the point A. This is the tangent through the point A. As we know, a tangent cut intersects a circle only at one point. So it will cut only at one point. And this tangent, what it will do? It will cut a line through the point O. So through the point O, I draw another line here. Like this. And the tangent cuts this line at the point B. At the point B. So, now we have the radius of the circle. What will be the radius? C, O and A, join them to get the radius. Okay. So, this is the radius of the circle. And the similar situation has come with this figure. So, let us see here what is written. AB is equal to 15 centimeter. This AB, it is 15 centimeter. Write it here. Okay. 15 centimeter. And in the beginning, O is the center of a circle of radius 8 cm. What is the radius here? OA is the radius. Right here, this is 8 cm. Then, the question, what we have to find? Find OB. This OB we have to find. We can give here question mark. So, similar situation you see, we know the radius and tangent at the point of contact is what? perpendicular. So, if perpendicular, then this angle is how many degree? 90 degree. So, let us write it. Angle OAV. So, solution starts. Angle OAV 
you see equal 90 degree. What is the reason we have to write? Because this radius is perpendicular to the tangent. What is the tangent here? AB at the point of contact A. And then, so this triangle is a right triangle because this angle is right angle. So we write therefore in right triangle what is OAB? OAB. Look, we can write by Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem, same as that part, that sum by Pythagoras theorem. See, this is the right angle. From here, this is the opposite side. We call it hypotenuse. So, square of hypotenuse meaning OB square is equal to what? Sum of the squares of other two sides. Other two sides are OA, OA, and this is what? AB. So, what we write here? Square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. So, you have to understand which side is the hypotenuse. See, this is the right angle, then from right angle, the opposite side we call hypotenuse. So, OB is the hypotenuse, and other two sides are OA and AB. So, here is square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. And now, put the values here. See, what is the value of OA? Bring from the figure 8. So it is 8 square plus what is the value of AB? 15, right here, 15 square. This is 8 square. Then multiply 8 square 8 into 8, 64. And 15 square 15 into 15 is 225. And add them 64 plus 225, it is 289. So we get OB square equal 289. So from here we have to find OB. OB is equal to square root of 289. If OB square is 289, only OB will be square root of 289. Therefore, OB is equal to, do the square root of this, it will be 17. You can bring it from memory also. Square root of 289 is 17. Then question given in centimeter, so we have to write it centimeter. So question is find OB. So OB is equal to 17 centimeter. That is the answer of the sum. Okay. Thank you, my dear students. We will continue our sums. So we will meet in the next class.